Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and today we are playing RimWorld and check it out I forgot to open my uh, Inventory up over here on the side and that actually reminds me of something I got a comment recommending that I install something called the Inventory mod and here it is. It's the first time I've ever used this mod, but it's just Inventory is what it's called and inventory is what it does. It shows you all the stuff on the map even like total like yeah, we're on the all tab, so this is going to be all the the marble chunks here. The group, this is awesome. Look at this steel slag. We got up. I I was recommended this because I was searching for something. I can't remember what it was now, but it was an item that didn't appear in my like the apparel section of my weapons mod. I can't remember what it was. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'll I'll remember at some point, but um. So in other words, you know, cause you can find a lot in this, in this, with this great, great mod, the weapons mod, which does so much more than just list your weapons. I highly recommend this mod too, but inventory is super fantastic. Actually, there have been many times in the past where I've wanted something just like this. So look at this. We can even look at the corpses and stuff. That's helpful. Not many of them on the map. In fact, we are currently using all our corpses for medical training. Yeah, so we have a deep freezer here with all our enemies and stuff. Oh, look at all these orders I've got set. I don't like to see, see that? See all those orders set there ahead? I don't like to see that because that's uh, causing the game to lag out. The computer's checking every one of those. Like, where's the where's the pawn? Where's the pawn? But, um... Yeah, you gotta you gotta cancel that kind of stuff. There's no need for it. I don't know why we have such a huge pile right here. Is this all clothing? Look at that. <laughs> it's just all clothing. Um, it looks like it's somehow being held in storage on the meat hooks. Yeah, that's interesting. Just kind of defaults there because it's just building up so much. I like how there's not much of it in the hospital itself. That's actually pretty handy, keeping things kind of clean. All right, so we've got one inspired trade. If you guys have been watching this series, you'll know that we've had a whole series of inspired trades, so that's very nice. But um, we also have a mod that allows us to call. Uh-oh, hold on. Let me deal with this real quick. Yeah. Wait, I can probably just move this. Put it right down here. Boom. Anyway, so we have a mod installed that allows us to call different traders in for a quantity of silver. Oh, and look at this. We don't have the silver. Oh, shoot. See, okay, so we have less than 500 silver. I don't know what happened. Maybe they used it for some components or something. Actually, I don't think that takes silver. Doesn't that only take gold? Yeah, just gold. Um, we I probably just traded it away. Bought some, too much stuff with it. But theoretically, if we had 500 silver or more, we could call down a trade ship of any kind and we've been doing that very regularly it's a lot of fun although it does kind of break the game i mean it's not terribly you know it's like it just makes us extremely wealthy it's easy to get stuff you know obviously it's too too much of a challenge for me personally because i can't keep my silver above 500 but uh, that's just a me problem although i am pretty happy right now looking up here at our colonists every one of our melee people is in full gear yeah look at that you look beautiful loser you're a beautiful loser i also need to start giving these folks some um bionics yeah i'm talking some nasty stuff now i know we're jedi but uh we need to fill this up with some serious bionics here we're getting towards the end of things you know we're i'm not saying what's going to happen today but we've got the end in sight you know at some point in the near future so we want to start really gearing ourselves up not just externally, but internally. We want to go full cyborg, at least with some of the people. And I always, for some reason to me, there's something so satisfying about having like melee pawns that are just totally cyborged out. You know, they can just like run down whole groups of fleeing uh, colonists and stuff or fleeing raiders, I should say. But um, one thing I would like to do is maybe focus on somebody who's not our ideology. Uh, here we go. Browning is not... But Browning's pretty old. Wait, no. Why did I think Browning was old? I think I'm confusing her with somebody else. But um, we do have a very old. Lynn is 69. Lynn's actually probably the ideal candidate. But as you can see, she's already got a lot of stuff. She's not looking too terrible. Um, but she's a good candidate here for some more surgeries. And I'll definitely fill her out. Like, she looks like she needs another leg, doesn't it? 
Yeah, she's only got one leg, bionic. Uh, but um, she's got the advanced shocker jaw. I don't think I've used this yet at all, which is a crime. Yeah, if you if you own a shocker jaw and you've never used it, that is, I think, a misdemeanor in some states. So this is unpermissible. I'm going to have to... Let's find an animal or something. <gasps> oh, you just volunteered, sir. Okay, Lynn is here. It always helps to give him go juice, too, whenever you want him to go somewhere. All right, let's shock and awe. <laughs> Wait, that was it? What happened? I didn't even... Three hours. Wow, I would have guessed like 15 minutes. Consciousness max 1%. Oh, so this thing would actually be super easy to kill. I mean, obviously we could just finish it off right now, but you just bring that consciousness down 1% and it will die. No matter what you do to it. You just administer a smoke leaf joint right now and that would kill it. But um, hmm, let's go ahead and finish it off. Well, that was pretty sweet. Does that do that to humans too? It must, right? I need to test it again. I need for science. I need to test it again. It looks like it's cooldowns a day. Oh my God. Uses two or three. Wait a second. If it's got two or three uses, why is it on a cooldown? <gasps> Wait, so we can use it three times in a row. Oh my God. You know what? She needs to be given a jetpack. Let me check her out real quick. Yeah, shield belt. Why the hell doesn't she have a helmet? Hold on. I know I took one or took them off some of our people because they needed repairs and whatnot, but I bet somebody else grabbed it. Well, that's okay. We'll just set up a an order for it. You're busy. He's working on the last one, last set of armor, and then I do have him set to helmets. Actually, is this a helmet? Oh, he is working on the helmets. Okay, never mind. We probably don't have enough uh, advanced components. Uh, I'm not sure. For some, whatever reason, Rico just decided to put the armor on hold. I guess he got tired of doing it, and he decided on his own to just make some helmets. Oh, wonderful. We got ourselves another lump of gold ore that, well, actually, I think this is the first one we've discovered. But, you know, let's see. Where is it located, uh, you know, in terms of our colony? Is it close? Let's see. Oh, no. It's on the other side of the mountain chain. So, literally, let's look at how long this would take us to get there. From here to there is four days. Round trip, eight days for that. And we'd probably end up with like 350 gold or so. I don't know. Maybe a bit more than that. But uh, I, I, some might say that it's my fault because I chose a terrible location for a city. If we, you know, if we planned on doing any actual traveling. But I mean, I honestly thought we'd get more of them popping up right down here. In this general, like this flat plains area. But... So far, no luck. All right. Well, we have got some company here. This is good. Actually, I really like these infested ship chunks. And I got to be honest, from what I'm seeing, just look at these shadows. This is going to drop right about like here-ish, I'm thinking. And that's in range of our sniper turrets. So <laughs> look at this. This is going to be a, a battle. Um, hold on. Let me get everybody situated. I'm going to make sure nobody... Can go outside the safe zone real quick and i'll probably go ahead and yeah we might as well go ahead and recruit everybody get them on the front line oh yeah they're getting shot at before the bugs even come out look at that oh my goodness that's great oh yeah these bugs don't stand a chance folks it might get a little bit laggy here let's see hopefully not usually that only happens when i have people oh my like my entire colony drafted <gasps> Oh, that's nothing. The bugs are cowards. They're not even attacking. I thought they'd be instantly on us. Well, you know what they will do? What they will get onto? Force ghost. Oh, you better believe it. Hold on, get up a little closer. We can actually move everybody up, can't we? These guys, these these bugs don't have any weapons they can hit us with. First of all, let's get the Melee off the front line. Gizmo, go ahead and pop out the Force Ghost. This will literally aggro the bugs. Oh, looks like they might be kind of making their way down. Some of them are. Oh, they're going to love that Force Ghost, though. All right, that's good. We'll need another one because... Oh, look at this. Rico's mentally broken. He needs a kidney. Oh, you know what? I think I've actually got one queued up. Yep, buying a kidney. But, uh, oh, also, I, I did recall all the robots, by the way. 
So that's not an issue. <laughs> Look at that. I told you that they really aggro on those force ghosts. Amazing. All right, let's get defiant. I'm a nervous putting these guys right up front. I don't want their companions to shoot them. Look at this. They're crawling over each other to try and attack these ghosts. Mm, so this is going to be easy, quick, and simple. And each one of these things drops like two components, roughly-ish. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice little haul. Not to mention the insect jelly. Oh man, that was a slaughter. So uh, it was like watching an old arcade game from the 80s. The, the bullets just firing constantly. I can't wait for a real raid to like really hit us. I, you know what, in fact, I've been thinking about the uh, mod that removes the raid cap, the raid point cap on a potential threat. I don't know though. That's probably going to be like, just talk about lag, computer lag. That's the only reason I would not do it. Because I'm afraid of like crashing my computer or something, or corrupting the save or something. But um, I do want to really test. You know, I guess it doesn't have to be large numbers. Consecutive raids, you know what I'm saying? Where if you get hit over and over and over again in steady waves, that can have a similar effect to just getting hit with like a thousand person raid or something. Um, so we can still basically get a challenge is what I'm saying here. Let's move our guys a little bit farther north. So none of them catch a bullet from these freaking turrets. Looks like the turrets are shooting straight through the group, man. See, this is why I should have these turrets on a power switch. Not to conserve power, but so I can control them when we have to send people out in a situation like this. Where there's quote-unquote hostiles on the map. But not really. But we're going to be fine. We'll, we'll clear this out. I'll show... Whoop, somebody just got tagged. Minigun. Who's got the damn minigun? Who's got it? Well, oh, aim, aim. As long as she, she's not shooting somebody in the brain, we're good. But uh, I'll show you how many uh, components we end up with once this is all said and done. Oh my god. Well, we're just finishing up the last of these, but somebody else got tagged too. And guess what it was from? A minigun. I can't necessarily trace exactly who it was because we've got a couple people with the miniguns right now, but I'm tempted to just strip them. Just get rid of them because they are so bad with these. And usually I give them to the people who are trigger happy. So yeah, see, this is my own fault. I, I do this to myself here and then I complain about the pawns. It's really unfair. I'm sorry, Eamon Wolfie. Go get some stew or some cinnamon buns or something. Poor Grunt, he's hurt. He's like 19 hours from death, so is Shinobi one. But uh, here we go. Let's see what we got. What we got? 74 components, folks. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. We're just going to grab everything here on the map. Except for those clothes. There we go. Yeah, I want all the animals. Then I like to go in here and select hunt. You know, to be quite honest, oof. I'm a little tempted not to do this, but I will. I'm going to select hunt, so all the animals that are still like alive, will, the pawns will come out here and hold, take care of them. Problem is, these turrets are going to probably shoot another couple of our pawns. Let's just hope there's no permanent injuries. But um, really, at this point, with our technology level, there is no such thing as a permanent injury. Well, 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 I was just over here contemplating why these walls are not getting repaired. It's very strange. Now, this I understand, because these they can't get to right here. Because, oh, look, at this one's at 2%, 0.98%. Hold on, what are these at? 99? For some reason, too, these are all just, like, very, very lightly damaged. I think, except for the obvious ones that I just showed you, the 0.9 and the 2% or whatever. But um, I think maybe this is fire from our own turrets hitting the embrasures or something. I'm not really sure, but it is happening over here in some areas. Huh. Anyway, I'm sure our people, are, our, our people will get to it. But while I was looking at that, we got a growth moment for baby sparkles. All right, so she is gone. She is now age seven. Okay, so she's. I think that means this is her first set of traits. Yep, and she gets two. We can choose. Oh well, this is passions. I'm sorry. Melee, artistic, social, or cooking. 
Wow, so we make her a melee fighter? Her trait is going to have to be Quick Sleeper, which is not bad. That's actually a super trait. But um, passions, I don't know. We don't really need a cook or an art. Well, yeah, we can always use an artist. Social's cool, too. Maybe we can try and make her another really, really high social character. That would be helpful. All right, so that looks decent. Decent for a little baby. We'll see how she gets up there. Sparkles, we're counting on you. With a name like Sparkles, she has to be highly sociable. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yes. Um, we're still bringing in all the good stuff here. 74 opponents, 740 um, insect jelly, and 740 steel. Very nice. Very nice numbers. We've got a few insects to get here, too. Just a couple. This will feed our barn animals for a very long time to come. Speaking of which, let's check on them. Hello, barn animals. Where did we get all these yaks from? I don't even remember having the yaks. Isn't that wild? Um, we should probably butcher them. I think I will butcher the male. And we'll wait till these females have children. Like this one. And then we'll butcher them. Oh, that's a male. What the heck am I talking about? But, uh, yeah, once these females have children, we'll butcher them. And we'll wait for the babies to grow up. We're always looking for more meat. Speaking of which, we do have some dogs here. No, I'm just kidding. But we are going to train the dogs up. And once they get to hauling speed, we can move them out into the zone. Speaking of zones, I did reassign everybody. Uh, that's not it. I always get those mixed up. All right, yeah, so everybody's back on the unrestricted zone. You can see, in case you're new, haven't seen this before, this is called biphasic scheduling. It's um, something I learned from a YouTuber called, named Adam vs. Everything. Really, really phenomenal RimWorld player. Literally developed this on his own. He's got a whole video that um, lays out this schedule the, where you recreate and sleep twice in a 24-hour in a period as opposed to doing it once. And I mean, it, the logic kind of just, you can kind of figure it out for yourself. Having the rested and recreation bonus twice in a 24 period versus once is better. And it doesn't hurt productivity at all. They still maintain the same level of productivity. Like you said, he's got a great video that uh, explains it all. I'll put a link down in the description to that one. Really, really helpful in case you're interested in what just the absolute perfect schedule is. And another added bonus, which he touches on, this actually is also effective for night owls. So you can literally do this for everybody in your colony, including night owls. And I mean, you're good to go. They might take like a little negative hit for like the last couple hours, but maybe not even. I'm not 100% sure because I always avoid night owls. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Rico just died. What the f... How did Rico even die? What happened? Wait, I'm a little confused what's even going on here. Oh, both his kidneys were just were destroyed. How? Wait, how did that even happen? What are you doing there, bro? I literally have no idea how that happened maybe wait he was wait was there a <laughs> I'm totally confused was there an operation scheduled on him because he is anesthetized he has been sedated for two flipping days why was Shinobi one in that same bed? Well, he probably came down, came in and laid down after, right after Rico died or something. But what the heck happened? Hold on, if I look at does I, there is a way to learn it. Is it the social? No, maybe not. Oh man, I thought there was a way to track the injuries. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait log but show combat anesthetic made rico crumble feebly rico missed oh this is a fight but that wasn't recently i i'll make i i don't know this is baffling to me there's got to be a cause for it 
This occurred 1.2 days ago. This was four, five days ago. This was five, a half an hour ago. Did I turn on some sort of... I don't get it. Well, here's the deal. I'm mystified, but um, I can't waste too much time on that. We do have some sleeves growing right now, although they're headless. I don't know why. That's also another mystery. One of the many here in the colony. But um, we are <laughs> number one. Well, you know what? I was going to say we're going to save Rico's body, but we are going to do that. I just don't know if I can actually res him with two missing kidneys. I mean, wouldn't he just die right away? Or does that heal up his kidneys, you know? Wait, can, why can't I assign this? Oh, here we go. Um, Rico. Man, that's crazy. It was already assigned to him, wasn't it? There we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. Rico's dead. That's that's on. Yeah, he just went and laid down on top of Rico. So that's what that was. First, I was like, what's happening? Rico's got like a head sticking out of his body. But, um, <laughs> oh, my God. So tragic. No. What the? That's not where he go. Don't put him on a meat hook. Spar sparkles. Sparkles. Dang it, Sparkles. That's the leader of the college. She just stuck him on a meat hook. Well, that's what I get. Uh, for poorly setting my storage here. Dang it, he's supposed to be buried. All right, hold on. I got to undo that. Content storage. Here we go. Uh, human like, yes, please, but not colonist. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'll get him moved. Um, yeah, that's tragic. Okay, so I just ordered dude here Mendez to to extract Rico's stack, and that did pull his head off. <laughs> so he's got no head anymore. So that's, oh, there goes the stack right there. So that's why these things don't have heads, I'm assuming. The, the clones that we've got growing, I assume when we put the cortical stack, even though it doesn't show it as a head, and I hope that's not what his face looks like, but uh, we're going to find out together. Let's see, how much longer is this? This was the first one we set, or no, maybe this one was. Well, they're equal time. 21% and yeah, it's going to take a while. Poor Rico. We just stored him or I think I thought we did. Where the hell is he? Oh, is he back up? No, I don't even see Rico. Hold on. Man, this is just a, uh, another mystery mysteries on top of mysteries here. I might have to eject everything. Enable auto backup. Automatic restoring? What's that do? Allow the array to automatically restore backups if a pawn with an installed cortical stack dies. Um, emergency backup. Make an emergency backup of all currently in local map that belong to the colony. Oh, okay. We got another growth moment, but that one's just to allow the baby to stay as a part of the colony. But, um, oh my god, so I don't know what's happening, guys. Things are just, all kinds of things are happening, and I can't, I can't figure them out. All right, well, the mystery continues here, because I did go into my new inventory mod, and I've tried to look up cortical stacks, but those aren't showing. There is none, like, I guess that means there's none loose in the colony, because obviously they're all in this little structure here. But he is not listed here. Um, we did make backups. But Rico wasn't a part of this. When you hit the button, it just backs up everybody who's got a cortical stack currently. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Gosh, gosh, gosh. I really don't know how to resolve this. To be honest, where's his body at? Is he still in the meat hook locker? Now, maybe he got buried. I was going to say, it's possible for me to go into dev commands and just uh, restore his body. Remove he def on the different missing parts, including his head. I think that'll work. Or I can just resurrect him. There is a command for that. I hate to do that, though. You know, that's not really something I want to do. But um, that's unfortunate. I have no idea why he died. That's, oh. 
guys, it, it just kind of has ruined it. It's ruined everything, but not really. I mean, we're still fine. <laughs> the colony is not going to fall apart. But he was a, one of the only two or three Jedi that have lightsabers in the colony, or was that able to even wield them, you know? Which is unfortunate, and his is still here. I remember setting it to be moved, but it's so tiny. I don't know what's at. Oh, check that out. That's for router. Get over here, router. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Oh, maybe he can't use it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, it says he already knows it. Router already knows Word of Inspiration. Okay, well, we'll be selling that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Hey, what is this? Rico. Oh, no. They had one work left. Did you see that? There was literally one piece of work left for him and before he died. Oh, look, the robot's taken over. Holy crap. Okay, well, um, I'll tell you this. The droid is no replacement for Rico, but uh, hey, at least he's doing his work. He's probably going to end up producing all, like, normal quality helmets, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, yes, and the cloning continues on, but you can believe the first mail sleeve we get, we're going to give it to Rico. If I can find a stack again, you know, if I can locate that, it's got to be here somewhere. But uh, we've got one uh, request, not so much a request, but I'm going to name a pawn after a Discord member that I offered just joined up recently. Check the description below if you're interested in Discord. And where is the pawn? I had one in particular. It's that furry that we just got. There he is. Yeah, whose name I can't pronounce. So we are now going to call you Morg. Come here, you. All right, there we go. Very good. It's actually like this. I don't know if this will show up, but let's go. Oh, wait, does it? Yeah. Wait, where'd you go? There it is. Now it just shows in like all caps or something. on Up here at least, but that's fun. All right, let's take a look at you there, Morg. Let's see what you're all about. Bios, five shooting. Obviously, you're an Itakin, so you're definitely good with the animals. You got a high, high social, intellectual. You were a 35-year-old male who was a psychopath, and unfortunately, you're ugly. I'm sorry, my friend. That's just, you know, this, that's how we're born. Uh, oh, you got a scar on you, but... Uh, we have a way to heal that. For some reason, this dermal regenerator, every time I load the game, it starts off turned off. The automatic heal is turned off by default. Every time I load in, which is weird, usually the settings will persist through the load if you set that. Oh my gosh, look, another child. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of kids. We got a lot of kids here at the colony, but that's a good thing, right? That just shows that we're doing something right. And, uh, oh, of course, how they get raised, that'll, that'll have to be a factor in it, too. But so far, I think we've been doing pretty well. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out, and I appreciate it. Leave me a little comment down below. Just say, hey, what's up? Uh, that also helps. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one.